we are in Cardiff. We have arrived. I just returned from Cardiff, traveled all the way there by coach and back, here to share my experience. Looking for the departure gate for the coach to Cardiff. I booked the ticket four weeks in advance and return ticket from London Victoria to Cardiff inclusive of small booking fee and seat reservation 16 pounds for the round trip the question is why travel by coach instead of just jumping on the plane drive or train which is quicker it is cheaper and environmentally friendly Convenient if traveling with luggage, especially connecting to the airport or from the airport. Opportunity for a good adventure, sightseeing all the way. See the train line. In this video, I'll be sharing some highlights of the journey and I hope you find it interesting and informative. With all the excitement, I like arriving early enough at the station to avoid running around. As you walk through here, you can see. You will be surprised how many people travel on the coach. Our coach was departing from Victoria Coach Station, which is centrally located, very easy to travel to, and walking distance from main Victoria Station. The online ticket booking confirmation comes with all the information that you need, including the coach number. And when you arrive at the station, just look at the departure board for the gate number. Always oh, important to get there early. I think the ticket says at least 15 minutes before departure time. So you walk towards gate 16. That's our coach here and we got to put our cases. Can you get up to? Cardiff. Cardiff? Yeah. yeah. Can you get up to? Cardiff, same. Brilliant, thank yeah. you. Thank Very you. Oh, Are you our driver today? I am indeed. Okay, yeah, I'm just uh, recording for my vlog. Luggage allowance is quite generous for no extra fee. By booking early, I was able to reserve these front seats with a panoramic view which is really a bonus when traveling such a scenic journey. These seats here right at the front were highly recommended if you want to get better views. At Victoria Coach Station, just boarded the coach and um, waiting to depart for Cardiff. On this single deck coach, there is no table for your snack at the front seats as you will be right behind the driver. But you still get your USB charger here. And also, if you want space, you better avoid these seats as there is not much enough leg room. We're leaving London, Victoria. 
our departure time from London was um, off peak, uh, so it didn't take long before we joined the motorway. I think it's my very first time traveling this side of the country, going towards Bristol, so I'm enjoying this scenery so far. slight delay here with the roadworks. We just went past some roadworks on the other side of the road. Now we are on the move. I think most of the area here towards Bristol is mostly farmland. It's about 11.30 now, one and a half hours into our journey. So far, so good. Really enjoying. It should take us about four hours to get to Cardiff from London, Victoria. And there is a toilet on the coach. cities on this journey that's the next one will be Newport we have stopped in Bristol that's another thing when preparing for this journey make sure you bring snacks and drink as they don't serve this on the coach bus station cupboard bus station and we have a lineup of some huge hotels there. We got the Hilton, Holiday Inn. We have stopped here in Bristol at this stop. Here outside Bristol and it's a Megabus coach station. We made another stop in Bristol around the university area, which was quite good because I got to see a lot more of Bristol. Back on the motorway on the M4 towards Wales, the scenery is kind of changing. The bridge looks massive on approach. Prince of Wales Bridge across River Seven. We are crossing now into Wales. at Newport and I hope we get a good overview of the city. At the brief stops along the way, you can get off the coach to stretch your legs, fresh air or a cigarette. We stop here in Newport, dropping off. 
that was a brief stop but at least i managed to get off the couch and stretch my legs and uh, look around and now driving out of newport you can see some old ruins there i think this place is nice and quiet It doesn't take long actually to travel between Newport and Cardiff and I did see some hills, uh, good scenery all the way and we have arrived in Cardiff. Looks like we are on the main road into Cardiff and driving past the university. If you have enjoyed watching, please consider subscribing so you get notified of new videos on this channel. Now in comments what you think about the journey. And we have arrived in Cardiff, that's our stop. So we got to find the hotel. At the moment, Megabus actually stops here right in front of the castle. It is just a few minutes walk to the city center and there are lots of hotels close by. My first impressions is really a nice city and much smaller than London. Let's check into the hotel and explore the city over the next few days.